the standard in modern aircraft travel. But fueling these jets is one of commercial airlines' biggest expenses, comprising as much as a third of their direct operating costs. And that's bad news for air travelers who have to foot the bill. Is there a better way? Certainly we can't go back to the pre-jet days. Or can we? That's the question NASA asked when it began taking a serious second look at an old idea, the propeller. The people at NASA's Lewis Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio, first started reworking the propeller during the oil crisis in the early 1970s. The idea was that aircraft powered by new generation propellers would burn 50 to 60 percent less fuel than present day jets. The design that emerged features eight thin, curved, swept back blades and is called the prop fan. Fifty hours of ground tests were performed on the prop fan at Lower Industries in San Diego. The next step was to get it on an aircraft, and that's exactly what's been done at the Lockheed Georgia Company in Marietta. The nine-foot diameter prop fan has been mounted on the left wing of a Gulfstream II business jet. 611 sensors, including 100 microphones, have been placed on the blades and other parts of the aircraft to help engineers monitor its performance. The unique blade design is the key to achieving speeds and altitudes comparable to jets on roughly half the fuel. Although it has the potential to save the airline industry billions of dollars in fuel costs, savings they could in turn pass on to their customers, the success of the prop fan ultimately depends upon public approval. Propeller-driven airplanes have traditionally been noisy, so two of the greatest concerns in the prop fan project are minimizing noise levels on the ground and creating a passenger cabin as quiet as it gets. To date, this doesn't seem to be a problem. Lockheed senior research pilot, Frank Hatton. Most of the time, we really don't even know it's running inside the cockpit. It's that quiet. And we're only, what, 15 feet away from it. If all goes according to plan, prop fans could start appearing on commercial airliners in the early 1990s. Advanced propeller research. Reworking an old concept to make air travel more fuel efficient in the future.